Many people don't realize that over geological time, we're really in a CO2 famine now. Almost never has CO2 level been as low as it has been in the Holocene, you know, 280. That's unheard of. Most of the time, it's at least 1,000, you know, and it's been quite a bit higher than that. The Earth was just fine in those times. You know, we evolved as, as a species in those times, you know, when the CO2 levels were three or four times what they are now. And the oceans were fine, plants grew fine, animals grew fine. So it, it's baffling to me that, you know, we're so frightened of getting nowhere close to where we started. My, my time is up. Could I? A little extra time because this is a weird kind of place you've taken us to. Because you're taking us back how many years, Dr. Happer, to when we were fine? Plasticine, I think, was the comment. Well, you know, Plastic. most people think primates okay. evolved about 80 million years ago. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I don't even know how to say this, but a lot has happened since then <laughs> in terms of where people are living and working. We have a society now. So to say, go back to those days, I hate to, I shudder to think of what it means is going to happen. So I'm, either I'm missing something or you just don't seem to think times have changed. Well, I don't think that the laws of nature, of physics and chemistry have changed in 80 million years. Mm -hmm. 80 million years ago, the earth was a very prosperous place. Well, and uh, oh well. there's no reason to think it will suddenly become bad now. Okay. Uh, Dr. Field, if things were to go back to the way it was then in terms of the amount of carbon in the air, which Dr. Happer said was wonderful times, how much was in the air then, sir? Oh, it's a, a little hard to be sure, but three or four times what Three we or have four now. times more. What would happen to the people here? And could you just talk reality because don't do it from up here, do it from here. And this is not coming off Senator Carper's time. I'm going to give him two extra minutes because of this. But I feel it's, this is really the most extraordinary argument I've ever heard, that we could go back to the times that were so long ago and everything would be fine. I, you need to t talk to me about I, it. I'd, I'd like to give you two um, observations that are well known from the historical data. So we know that the CO2 concentrations are higher now than they've been at any time in the last 650,000 years. Mm -hmm. It's not like it was yesterday when they were higher. We know the last time they were higher for sure was probably about 50 million years ago. I'm sorry the senator from Wyoming isn't here because 50 million years ago there were crocodiles in Wyoming. Uh, we might go back, <laughs> you know, Some would it, say there's it's still a very, are. very different world. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's the point. I mean, we're trying to preserve society as we know it. And Dr. Happer says, just go back to the way it was 50 million years ago. I'm not telling that to my grandkids. 